I know it's uh, starting to get hot and my elbow hurts, so I'm almost done, but I wanted to do this one. See, as I'm unpacking stuff, I just have to look at something and be like, boom, that's this one. <laughs> this is my favorite knife. And I think when it comes to knives, it's so important to know what you're doing. I wrapped this one up carefully because he's sharp. <laughs> and you don't find a knife like this very often. This, I think this is called, it's like a 10 inch or something like that. I'd have to measure it. But this is a very, very long, very sharp knife. This is not my sharpest knife. I have um, a Japanese sushi knife that's for cutting vegetables and it's as sharp as this one is. This is very sharp. This is for chopping like this, like that. But it's a really one of my favorite knives and see it has the wooden handle on it. So this is an older knife and you probably can find a knife like this in the antique stores and things like that. That's where I would go and check for these kind of things because it's a kind of a rare knife. Uh, this is a stainless steel Japanese lifetime home, old homestead stainless and it's a Japanese knife. So it's pretty cool. I like this knife. It's my favorite one. <laughs> I'm almost done, but here's the thing, Papa. I know everything in my kitchen and this is probably the first knife that I wrapped because I love him so much <laughs> and I could recognize him because I would only wrap this special knife in a very special wrapping paper. This is actually a Japanese knife and people wouldn't understand. They would think that this is like maybe a sushi knife, but it's not, this is not a sushi knife. This is actually a Japanese knife that is used to cut vegetables. This is a vegetable peeling knife. So you cut your vegetables like this with it. I'm not going to touch it because this sucker, <laughs> will slice through a carrot, just like that. So anyways, so there's a lesson on how to have Japanese knives. Always keep them in good condition. They don't get oiled or anything like that. You can use them to cut on a stone, like on the, one of this, I'll have to go and find that too, but I have stones and everything that I use to sharpen these with. And uh, that's all they get. They get sharpened and then occasionally I take them to the knife sharpener and have them professionally done. But there we go, lesson in knives today. Talk to you guys later, cause I'm almost done. I'm so, I can't unpack anymore. I've like unpacked almost 20 boxes today. So, and I still have more to go. I got more in the kitchen, but it'll eventually it'll get done. <laughs>